Greetings everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of All Things Lambda, the community show that is now 100 episodes strong. Yes, you heard that right, this is episode 100 of All Things Lambda. I got a bunch of new stories for you today, so let's not wait for too long and let's just get into it, shall we? Lambda Generation after a pretty long wait, we finally get what Jeff Keighley has been working on. The final hours of Half-Life Alex, a feature about the last 10 years inside Valve and what it was like working on their latest major release. It all started off with a new teaser that Keighley put on his Twitter account, showing off an animated version of the game's box art environment slowly panning up to reveal the logo. Later, Jeff confirmed in a Q&A on his Twitter that the project will release not too long from now, and he was darn right about that. Because just when I started editing this segment, I saw on Twitter that the final hours of Half-Life Alex has just been released onto Steam, literally not more than a couple minutes ago from when I'm writing this. Isn't that just fun? On a serious note though, it's out right now and I highly recommend you to go and check it out. Jeff Keighley stated that this is probably one of the biggest things he has ever worked on. You can grab it now for about 10 US dollars. A link to the Steam page can be found below. You never guess what has been found on Steam. It's G-String. Yes, that's right, the futuristic cyberpunk-inspired source mod created by mostly one person has found its way onto Steam to be more accessible for people who are interested in playing it once it finally officially releases. When it officially releases is still unknown though, but reading the Steam page and especially the Almost There section of it lets us know that the mod is essentially completed and playable from start to finish, only polish being added to the whole experience to bring it up to the desired level of quality. This is not the only thing we're left with though, as a developer Ayara uploaded a pretty sizable PDF file to the Steam page which you can view that has a whole lot more information in it pertaining to the game. From the characters to the places you'll visit, it's all in there. It's definitely worth a read if you're into this sort of thing. Anyway, with the Steam page now being available, it's probably a good practice to start wishlisting and following the game. That way you'll be notified when it comes out. I've left a link to the page in the description below. Half-Life Absolute Zero is still being worked on as we speak, after being in development for almost 10 years. This and the lack of team members contributing to the mod has led to the mod being called complete on October 12th, 2020, regardless if all the content that they wanted to implement is ready or not. However, the mod's creators, Cobalt57, have decided that they're going to release the mod onto Steam a little bit earlier than anybody expected. And with earlier, I do actually mean a lot earlier, as in the mod hits Steam tomorrow. There is a catch with this version of the mod though. It is largely incomplete and is basically a development build that will be updated over time until it reaches its inevitable completion date of October 12th. This means that the mod cannot be played from start to finish without a hitch just yet. You're going to need the console a lot. Like I said already though, the mod will be updated over time with more content and fixes as they move closer to a more finalized release, so you can kind of see this as an early access game. Kind of wondering why they didn't just set the game up as one on Steam, or maybe it is, but it hasn't shown up on the Steam page yet. Anyway, you can play some of Half-Life Absolute Zero tomorrow. A link to the official Steam page can be found in the description below. Go check it out. Lost Industry 2 has released not too long ago and has been considered a pretty decent mod. We had some exclusive trailers and things up on a channel that you can still watch. It didn't take that long for the mod's developers, Icarus Software, to start working on the next installment of Lost Industry though. Lost Industry Origins is going to be a prequel to Lost Industry 1 and 2 and is apparently already pretty far into production. That's because they are using maps that didn't make the cut for Lost Industry 2. They already have the assets and the codebase so why not just reuse all of those things and make a new mod out of it. More content is always good right. According to this mod DB post they're working on getting the voice work in the game and creating the choreographed scenes for the characters, something they've never really done before. So it's going to be interesting to see how that's going to turn out. If you want to know more about the mod and see screenshots for yourself, you honestly already know where you gotta go right? The description below. Map Labs is back with a brand new mapping contest, and this time it's for Half-Life Alex. So you gotta take your mapping experience with you onto the Source 2 engine and in VR. So what do you got to make this time? One room. 
just one room. This map labs workshop pretty much asks you to create a map with a single room and it gives you 21 days to do it. Well, more like 17 days from now because all maps have to be handed in on the 26th of July. No bonus entries are allowed this time. No judging will take place either as this is essentially a mapping jam. Nothing can be won here so you're really just participating for the fun of it. There are some bonus challenges though. You can try adding a death pit to your map or you can try to add a functional piano or you can apply Half-Life 2 themes to your map. They're optional but still fun to try and include. Of course, there are still some rules here. Your map does actually have to be built with VR in mind, the map must have an ending to it, and you're allowed to use custom assets as long as you have permission to use those assets. More rules and information can be acquired by reading the poster that was posted on MapLab's official Twitter page. The specific tweet that includes it can be found in the description below. Happy mapping! Blixibon seems to be on a roll with his map-based project. Some new really exciting stuff has been added over the past few weeks to improve the SDK version that really makes the life of mappers a lot better. Like Vscript or Treesway. Treesway. Jiggly trees. The newest version that was released at the start of this month, however, has less exciting new features. But it does have a whole bunch of bug fixes that are still going to make the lives of mappers a bit easier. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? Amongst the things that are fixed here are the slam ammo pickups, an issue with projected textures not displaying correctly upon saving or loading, and some vscript stuff like ammo type related code that was omitted from the previous release and much more. All of the changes to this version of MapBase can be found in the ModDB article which can be found below in the description. Wow, those were some great news stories, weren't they? Alright, so I'm going to record this part off script. I didn't write anything for it because this is obviously... Well, not something that I want to do scripted, I guess. Uh, so bear with me here. This is indeed episode 100 of All Things Lambda and... Back two years ago, I think I never thought that, you know, I would get here this quickly. I mean, it feels quickly. Um, it's actually more kind of logical because, you know, two years equates to, you know, two times 52 is like 104, right? So actually, we should be at uh, episode 104 right now, not 100 whatever. Is that correct, actually? I'm really terrible at math. But yeah, I, I, I have tried to do this weekly, every every single week. Not, not, not everything always goes according to plan. Um, so I've had moments where I didn't upload for a week because of reasons. I might be on vacation or something else came up. Um, but yeah, you know, I've tried my best to do these weekly for you. I hope you have enjoyed these 100 episodes of All Things Lambda. I sure mostly enjoyed making them. There are obviously production processes that after 100 episodes you kind of get sick of, but they're part of the process anyway, so... You know, eh, just gonna have to run through it. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can do that by uh, clicking the big red box down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video if you want to show your support for the 100th episode of All Things Lambda. I know that for a 100th episode, uh, this is a little bit anticlimactic. But the reason why the episode isn't that big or like anything special is because, you know, we cover recent Half-Life news and if I really wanted to do something big, I would need to plan it out and write a script beforehand and, you know, something might happen in the meantime that is big and we wouldn't be able to cover it because the episode would be pretty much written and filmed and everything and you know then you guys would probably be like hey why didn't you cover this thing and then I would need to explain well this episode was planned ahead uh and we had to basically um you know lock content pretty early on so that's why you know I just decided to do a regular episode and have like a little word with you guys at the end most people will probably not even see it but again if you stuck around to the end thank you and obviously also thank you for watching all things lambda for 100 episodes uh and we'll see where things go from here obviously uh don't forget to follow us on social media everything is down below in the description as well as our discord server which is definitely worth uh a look at least so come on and join in 
uh, and uh, talk about Half-Life stuff if you want to. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my own YouTube channel. It's called Glorious Rigby. I um, am trying my best to kind of put more content on that channel as well now that I have more time um, to spend on things because I don't have school anymore, which is great. Uh, doesn't mean I'm doing this full time, absolutely not, but uh, I don't have school anymore to bring me down, so uh, yeah, I can upload more, I can make more content, uh, so definitely keep an eye on my own personal YouTube channel. It's linked down below, as well as my Twitter, uh, so if I upload anything, you can probably find out by uh, looking at my Twitter if you are interested, obviously. And with that, I'm going to end episode 100 of All Things Lambda. Don't be afraid, though, because we'll be back next week with a brand new episode. But in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe and to ring that bell icon to never miss another episode. Salutations, and take care. <laughs>